I don't know if I could do this, Miss Miss Anderson. Oh. It didn't deal with parents. What's up, ass babes? I don't know if it's day three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I don't know. But it is, I'm not even going to say what day it is because I don't know when I'm going to get this up. Okay, it's Thursday. I hope you all are doing well. I hope your kids are off to a great start virtually. And they have a blessed day. I have to say a little prayer before I got in here today. It's like I'm almost afraid to look at the emails. I'm getting maybe a hundred emails a day. That's overwhelming. And parents are not very patient and while we're all figuring this out i just talked to an administrator and she was like oh no it's not just you i've been getting calls already when are you gonna do this when are you gonna do that when are you gonna do that give us a minute i can feel the anxiety on my chest It's a lot and it's new. So anything new is going to be a little, you know, nerve wracking. So I'm going to tackle today as a new day. I need to figure out, because I don't know how to do it, how to figure out how to get my Google slide Bitmoji announcement out there early this morning. And I didn't want to do it late last night because then you have parents who complain that they got an email late at night. I don't get dings on my phone when I get emails. I get emails all through the night for my personal. So I don't know, maybe they have dings for school emails. So I was like, I refuse. I will not be sending emails since some people complain. Um, I won't send emails after I leave school. No, I, 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 I don't want to inconvenience anyone's dinner. Need, needless to say, I didn't get to bed till 2 o'clock in the morning. My alarm clock went off at 5. Then I had to drive an hour here. So sometimes this is what teachers do, but then we get complaints by, you know, by parents. So, oh, well, you'd miss that. Do you know how many other things I did for your kids and how much time I put in that I don't get paid for? You know, that's, that's, that's just the hurtful part. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if it's worth it. I really don't. I don't know if it's worth it. I'll deal with a challenging kid any day of the week. I love them. I love a challenge. You know, trying to figure out how their mind works, how to bring them in, how to partner with them, how to build that relationship. I'll do that any day of the week. But a parent? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. To me, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not the kid, it's the parent. Especially when you have a teacher. You know, it's second, third day of school. And we, I just introduced my name. <laughs> I, it, that's telling me right there. I hope not. Trying to be positive. I hope not. But if this is the indication for how the rest of the year is going to go, nitpicking every little thing and you just can't have a regular conversation, not worth it to me. Mm -mm. I'm going to do my best. I'm gonna continue to give it my all with what I know, what I can, and pray for Jesus. I, I gotta start prayer in my quiet corner to ask for peace and patience and guidance and love. Try not to let other people upset my spirit, but even some of the, one of the best teachers I know, one of the Best teachers I know get in the business. Get in the bi I'm like, I don't understand it. It's just like you, you get on a bike for the first time. Are you an expert bike rider? No, you got to learn to pedal. You got to learn to balance. This is all new for everybody. And I, ju I just think it's sad that what was making me teary eyed that teachers have to be... I don't want to say abused, but almost by parents. I 
I mean, it wasn't, it, it, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like it. I, but, oh, well, I'm going to go to the principal. This link is not, I mean, it really bothers me. I'm usually the last teacher to leave, one of the many first teachers to get here. Then I have my own kids. Then I'm going to bed at 1, 2 in the morning trying to figure it out, trying to come up with engaging things, trying to, you know, learn new technology and stuff. It's frustrating when you know what you're putting into it. I don't know. It is not worth it. It's not worth it for me. It's not worth it. Let's see how the rest of the year goes, but it is not worth it to be treated like that by parents. And I can tell if you're a bad teacher, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're just not a great teacher or anything like that. You're not good with the kids. You're not doing X, Y, and Z. And then they don't understand you also have a life outside of school. Time I take away from my own kids. Poor Sydney, my daughter, you know, wanted to talk about her classes, her teacher. And I'm like, and I've been telling her, please be patient with your teacher. She's going through a lot. So I have to figure out a way to not let it totally crush my spirit and the love of teaching. It's stressful. It's not worth it. Mm -mm. It's not worth it. Just saying, huh? Hmm? Just saying, huh? Yeah. I don't know if I could do this, Miss Miss Anderson. Oh. I didn't deal with parents. Well, I just got back. I thought I would jump on here again. I just got back from my daughter's confirmation. Then it is now, I don't know, 8.30. 8.30, then I have to run back out. I'm going to try to do a little bit of schoolwork. Then I'm going to run back out to pick my daughter up from work and then come back, shower, do more schoolwork. You see, it's just never in the cycle to not be appreciated or be. Anyway, I just came back from the confirmation. I got a little God and Jesus up in here. And the only thing I can do, I can't control what other parents will say what other parents will do. I can't control their spirits, that hardcore spirit. I can't control their, um, I can't, only thing I can do is pray that they have grace, that they have patience, that they have kindness in their heart, that they can be humble, that they can be considerate, um, thoughtful, empathetic. I can only pray for them. And I pray for myself that I continue to have patience, not let helicopter moms bother my soul and my spirit because I know what I give. I know how hard I try. And that means a lot, a lot. It means the world to me. I have to learn to not allow parents to disrupt my spirit and to rob me of my joy. And only thing I can do for them is pray for them because they're, I think a lot of teachers, number one thing that they complain about, sometimes it's administration, but it's the parents having to deal with parents. And sometimes they may have a legitimate excuse, but I think how you talk to someone, how you communicate with someone is powerful. How you make someone feel is powerful. And I never want to be one who made someone upset because I was impatient, I wasn't kind, I wasn't understanding. I never want that to come from my heart. And please, if it does... <laughs> Let me know. You know, I have my moments. But when it comes to teachers, I'm always understanding properly because I'm one. Even with my son, when I went through a lot with my son, never blamed the teacher. 
mm -mm. I be like, we're going to work together because I know what I'm dealing with. We're going to work together. I would never be disrespectful to any of my children's teachers or, or be accusatory. You know, if there's something serious, not for a link. Come on now. Anyway, I just wanted to come back and say I got a little bit of Jesus on me, all over me. Hallelujah. And I pray for you. I pray for all you parents who don't treat teachers with respect, with kindness, with love in your heart, with patience, especially if it's just a second day of school. It's like the second first day of school because I only saw one half students this day, another half this day. So... It was like the first day of school. Okay, the link didn't work. Maybe it worked tomorrow. Maybe we were just under so much pressure. And like I said before, another teacher got it. She was like, give me a minute. Just give me a minute. You know, kids are doing stuff that's do that that the link is not even supposed to be ready until Friday. I'm getting stuff for Friday. This is why the WAG is kind of, mm, you know, you want to give that assignment. And you may have a lesson to go with that assignment, but the kids already did it. They've already done everything. So that's why I was opening my folders. The WAG threw me. The WAG is the week at a glance where you see everything, all the work, or everything, all your plan. It's like your blueprint. But sometimes blueprints change. And then they, they're doing a the work. Th 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 that's through Friday. I was going to cancel Friday's work because I felt as though this is the first week of school. Well, I'm going to have them writing it. You know, doing a, a ton, ton, ton of writing for. So I was even going to cancel that. I was like, mm, that's a little too much after I had to think about it. This is getting to know you week. So it's nothing like, you know, oh, um, these are the things that the kids have to learn here. These are the steps. No, it wasn't even that. It was bonding with your kids, building a relationship. It was nothing serious. So... <sighs> Sorry, my camera shut off. So... I'm just praying that this is not an indication um, of what's to come from certain parents. To me, it's not worth it. If you have that many complaints, I mean, you just started over a link. I'm just afraid to see what else is going to come. That That's what I'm afraid of. I'd rather you just transfer your child to another class. Because that added stress on top of that, to me, is it, not worth it. It's not worth it. Just put your, your child somewhere else where you think they're going to, you know, where there won't be a missing link. There won't be any mistakes. Everything is just perfect. Everything is always going to run smoothly. So anyway, I'm going, I'm waiting for a call for someone to help me with the rest of my links. And I'm creating a Bitmoji classroom that will include more links that I'm hoping that I can download to their little learning platform. I mean, I get to bed till 1, 2 in the morning. Mm -hmm. I know I'm rambling, guys, but I was really upset. I take things personal, especially when you know my heart. That really upset me. All right. I'm going to keep parents uplifted in prayer. I'm going to keep all teachers uplifted in prayer and hope that they stay safe. And um, pray for patience for the teachers, for the parents. I'm just going to pray for everybody because I know my spirit, my heart can't take it. I can't take I can't. I don't like conflict. I don't like conflict. And that, that's what I'm like. But once you say, once you start saying, well, I'm going to contact the principal and contact this, 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 that's trouble. That's trouble already. I, I can't, I can't do conflict like that. Now, I can see if it was something egregious or something like that, something really bad. You know, I can see that. But a link, and we all trying to get it together. Even my daughter, when I asked her how was her day, she was like, oh, one of my teacher's links didn't work. And I emailed her, and she was like, oh, really? She said she did something. Doo -doo 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 -doo. She said, okay, try now, and if it doesn't work, please email me back. That's it. We're all trying new stuff now. And I told Sydney, I said, just be patient with your teacher. She probably got a lot of emails. Right now, I'm getting almost 100 emails a day. Then I have to sift through 100 emails a day and then have irate parents. Baby.
you decide to teach, honey, just keep that in mind. You will need lots of prayer and patience and meditation and wusa and deep breaths and hot baths and hot showers and massages and you know you're gonna have to go out and get yourself some gifts sometimes just to make you feel good and you're gonna have to get you some treat meals and you know always keep a candy bar or something in your drawer and maybe even have a soda and a bag of chips because you're gonna have those days where you just gotta go off your diet off your eating plan just to go woo 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 it's okay Woo, 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 woo. It's okay, cause you can only control what you can do, not what they can do. Now that I think about it, would I rather deal with a troll or would I deal with an irate parent? I'll take a troll any day of the week. Mm -mm. Give me the trolls, honey. I, 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 I can deal with those. Sometimes a troll will hit a nerve with me though, and I just talk about it and I get over it. So, dear God. Can y'all send me some prayers? Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for all teachers. Pray for parents to have patience, to have love, to have kindness. Pray. Just pray. We're all learning this together. Just give us a couple of weeks to, you know, to get our, you know, get our, dig in and really get it. Because even Sydney, my daughter, I know I'm rambling, guys. I'm sorry. Even Sydney was like, Mom, my teachers is doing a bit moji too. Yeah, it's the craze now. It's what it's what what all the teachers are doing because it's it's colorful, it's interactive, it's virtual, it's clickable, and that's what the kids are into. So sometimes some may not click right. Then you gotta keep working on it. Like oh that didn't click, that didn't link. Oh man, I thought that was gonna work. But then when you start talking about computer programming, HTML, and this and that, and embedding this, I like can you show me that one more time? I'm going to get it. J just show me one more time. Yeah. So we're going to get it. Just calm down. <laughs> so if you want to become a teacher, you think about this. You want to experience it. There's no way you're going to go through a teaching career and you don't experience some irrational, irate, unfair, unmanageable, whatever word you can think of, parent. It's going to happen. You need to learn how to deal. And let me tell you, thank God for the teacher in my room because I started typing some stuff. And then she used to enjoy. And then I had to press the backspace button. I had to delete it. And then I started typing some stuff. And she enjoyed. This is what you're going to say. You better erase that. <laughs> I had to backspace some stuff. And I was like, Phew. well, ma'am, I understand how you feel. You know, this is the first week of school. Everything that we're doing is an astronomical amount of work for all teachers and students. You know, everything that we've done today is in the Schoology platform, and it was only introductions today. I just introduced who I am. There is no work that is due today. Thank you for your patience. Jesus. I need to keep a job. I got to make it through the year. Got to take some deep breaths. Mm, 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 mm. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And you would think that with the parents being home with the kids during the coronas, that they were like, oh, teachers got to do all of this. Then you think, you know, they'll be a little more sensitive and stuff like that. Have a good night. It's going to be a long one for me.